Welcome back to FNA Van Life, everybody. This week, we are finally delivering the grape solar panel to our contest winners. We couldn't be more excited. Da -da 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 for the grand prize. <laughs> it is Las Vegas, though, so let's have some fun first. Where's Paco at? He's on the Las Vegas trip, baby. But is post-pandemic Las Vegas even fun anymore? I touched the door handle and it made me feel really gross. Be sure to subscribe. Let's get into it. Good morning, vlog. What's up, guys? After last night's anxiety-inducing strip visit, <laughs> we're trying again in the daytime in the hopes that it'll be a little bit less wild. Sorry about the loud cars and everything, but that's what happens when you're walking on the strip. Everything is loud. One of our Patreons, Ellen, suggested that we go to the Mon Ami Cafe near the Paris Hotel and people watch in front of the fountains. So we're gonna go try that and maybe get some french fries and some gonna, french food. We're gonna do a little brunch action over there. <laughs> so thank you so much, Ellen, we appreciate it. Yeah, so let's get over there. Seems like we might've got here a little late. All the seats look to be taken up outside. Paco is now a gambler. Push the button, Paco. Oh, are you underage gambling right now, sir? He is. See, Paco's only three. Oh, if he's two, if he's three, he's 21. Oh, perfect. So I think he's not underage gambling. It's perfect. Uh -huh. So we're just waiting for our table. It's gonna be like 15 to 20 minutes. We spent four dollars on a machine. Didn't win anything. So we'll save the rest for brunch. We're taking all of our pills. This is what, vitamins. This is, what, this is what you do in Vegas. You drop pills at breakfast. It's like vitamin C, magnesium, and B12. Yeah, that's what she tells you. Down the hatch. It's party time. I'm just messing. Breakfast was delicious. Now we're just on a walk because I feel really full. Yeah, we need to we need to get some of this out of us. One thing a friend told me a while ago is that after you eat, you should walk for at least 30 minutes. That way, you get your digestive system going and digestive. knock it out. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'll do it. Somehow they made it like fall in here. There's no fall like that in this desert. It's like 120 degrees outside right now. Yeah, there's no change they in the colors. They don't have maple leaves changing color no. and falling from the trees. None of that happened here None at of all. That. So fresh and so clean, clean. It's a Vegas style tiny house. Do you want to move in? I would. <laughs> uh, It'd be a little busy around here. It'd be very busy. You hear right, a lot we of, need to reconsider the location. You hear a lot of fake birds. <laughs> <laughs> I think it is the best because it looks cool on camera. All right. Cherry reached out to us on Instagram because she's been following the YouTube channel for a while now and saw that we were in Vegas. And so we came to hang out. We had some coffees together. And now we're going to go check out their halfway done build. Yeah. I'm excited. You guys excited? Yes. Woo. <laughs> Oh, and the airflow, you can immediately feel it coming through. God. Paco's up and in already. Oh, man. Look Paco's at that official pass. van tour. Woo. I love that Paco's in everybody else's van tours, but not ours. Yeah, I know. He didn't want to be with us at all. He wanted to hang out with Kevin. Yeah, he literally like wanted nothing to do with us. Got the toe kick area right here. First time toe kicker. That way this guy can't stub his toes on the, on the floor. Look at those Ronald big McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> 
Well, that was a ton of fun, and we are so glad that we met you guys. Thank you so much for showing us around your build. We can't wait to see when it's finished. And you guys are living in there and traveling, living the dream. It's gonna be so good. We want the first tour, though. We yeah. want to take the first tour. We're, you we're signing up for exclusive rides. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited for you guys, and I can't wait to see when everything is done. Yeah, happy travel. All right, time to go get back to our hotel. Yeah, I don't know what we're gonna do now. Yeah, we haven't even eaten dinner. Yeah, maybe I think that's dinner. why Paco was just clawing me because he's like, I'm hungry. He just ate his breakfast an hour ago. So? That doesn't mean he's not hungry. Okay. All right. Well, I think we're hungry, so let's yeah. deal with that. All right. Bye. This is all of the things that we needed for two days. Why do I have everything? Because I have to hold the camera for now. But this is why I feel like staying in a hotel or staying in other people's houses is annoying. Because you have to, like, bring all your stuff. Yeah, it's like half of our actual van right here. Yeah! So now we had to unpack it all, bring it up here, and then we had to pack it all up, bring it down, and then we're gonna have to unpack it all to get in the van. When we could just stay in the van! The good thing is I get a workout on. Oh, <sighs> check out them muscles. <sighs> oh. How's the form? How's the form? Is it <laughs> so nice? So, you wanna carry the bag the whole way? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Alright guys, we're ready to hit the road, and we've got a special trip to do today. Our very special mission today is to deliver the solar panel, the grape solar panel, Good. 180 watts to our contest winner, Schooly, named Otis. We're heading there now. We're gonna drop off the solar panel. We're gonna take them for lunch. It's gonna be a good day. I'm excited to come meet you guys. A little bit of traffic, huh? Yeah, just a bit. This is Vegas for you. Feels like I'm back in New York all over again, <laughs> except for it's way hotter. You excited to give away something? I am excited to give away. I know they want it, so <laughs> I'm excited for them to have it. Paco's excited to see grass. Get out of there. Come on, bud. Congratulations. Yo, congratulations. Yay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> What's up, man? How's everything going? Oh, good? How are you? Oh, that's okay. It's this good. is this is the bus, huh? Yup. Yeah, that's our baby right there. Ah, there. look at uh. Yeah. I like the fact that it's so short. <laughs> da 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 for the grand prize! <laughs> guys, here's your solar panel. Thank 180 you watts of great solar goodness. Yeah, That's yeah. awesome, man. Thank you guys. Yeah, we really of course. appreciate it. It was of the course. last thing we needed. Nice. Now, now our build is complete, man. We Perfect. can literally go off grid. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're, we're happy for you guys. I mean, I, I feel like that's a. I wish we could have won something like this right, when we were right, building ours right. out. So well, you know. I, I couldn't believe it, man. When I when I first got the message, I thought I was like, I was I looking through he, the page, and I was he like, he told me he's like, we won, and I was like, won what? Yeah, <laughs> I like, we won a solar panel. I was like, never won anything. Heck yeah! Well, I'm glad that we could bring it to you guys too, and uh, you know, take you guys out for lunch. Yeah, man, and, we can't you know, wait, man. Like, we're get to, super get to know each other a little bit more, yeah. you know. That's the good stuff right there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Lunch was delicious, and now we're gonna get some dessert. Yeah, some shaved ice. Ooh. We're going to fluff ice. Fluff yeah. ice. Fluff ah. ice. Fluff ice. I love it. Look how cute this is! We all got our fancy ices. Oh. <laughs> Alright guys, the solar panel has been delivered. The stickers have been dropped off. We feel really grateful for Schooly Named Otis. We're so excited for them to win this prize and finish their build. Yeah, I'm excited to see that build when it's fully done. 
sorry, I have to drive right now. Alex is forcing me to talk on camera instead. It was a pleasure meeting you guys. Thank you so much for just being awesome people. And uh, yeah, we can't wait till we see you guys again. We're on the road again. We're gonna head to Arizona now. We're on our way to Flagstaff area to go meet some of our other friends that you guys may know on the channel. That's right, so we're going to Flagstaff to meet up with Forrest and Alex and their beautiful pro master Luna and their puppies Charlie and Joey. And we're gonna hang out with them for a couple of days. So, should be good. It's a quick four hour drive with a 4,000 grade elevation. Quick, quick drive, she says. Quick. All right, anyways, we'll see you there. Well, Paco jumped out, huh? Yeah, he's ready to go. I need some shoes still. Let him wander and pee. Good morning, guys. We've made it over to the spot. As you can see, there's Forrest and Alex. And behind us, on this side, is Cat and Zach. But I'm gonna go outside and get my walk on with Paco. So, little Paco montage? Paco Waco montage? Paco Waco montage. Show you the new spot. Let's go. Paco's got this. Good boy. 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 Good He's learning all his little tricks. He knows how to shake. He knows how to high five. He knows. He knows how to lay down now. He knows how to sit. He's doing really good. I'm so happy for him. And he's listening. We have him fully off leash right now. And there's been several dogs around that he wanted to go and play with, but we told him we stopped. We told him in between. And sure enough, he came back and got in between us. Yeah, proud of him. The squirrels out here are really cute. They're like little gray things with big bushy tails and huge ears. And Paco's never gonna catch them, so <laughs> he can chase after them all he wants because he's too slow. You slow poke, you. You little slow poke. He also can't climb trees. It is absolutely beautiful out here. We are in Arizona, just outside of Flagstaff. And I think we're gonna end up staying for a couple of days because it's really nice and we've got some really good friends to hang out with. Guys, I had a craving. I haven't had craft dinner in freaking ages. And every time we go to the grocery store, I look at it and I'm like, <sighs> but then I say no. But this time I said, whatever, let's go for it. Let's give it a try. See if it's as good as I remember. This used to be my favorite, like after going out food, I would like make myself a whole box. That doesn't look like you're that happy. I mean, it tastes like it should. <laughs> but but are you knocking out the craving at least? Yeah, for sure. Nice. I'd much rather have regular pasta. It tastes really like artificial cheesy. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's like a bag of powder that you pour on top, right? There was a lot of like vegan options and we did get one. But I was like, I just... I'm craving this. I was like, let me just get the thing that I'm craving, go for it. Now that I'm eating it, I'm like, okay. But then every other time I see it now, I'll be like, I'll remember this. And then I won't get it. <laughs> I need that hat you're wearing. Hold on. Thank you. How's that, better? Oh, yes. Now I can nap. Okay, good night. Good night. Paco, are you gonna nap with mom? Yeah, it looked like you just yawned. All right, good night, guys. I think the wind's coming from this direction right here.
Oh, close. Boomeranging is so fun. <laughs> Everybody loves a boomerang. You so, throw it like this. Yeah, right? but hold on. Turn this. This has to be inside. And then when you throw it, you want to go hard flick and straight down. Nice! Look at it go! Look at it go! It didn't make it. There it is. Frankie, did you steal my sunglasses? Oh, did you steal mine? No, I couldn't find mine. Okay, maybe I took them. <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh, it died. I love the turtle run that he does. Oh, it died. <laughs> <laughs> like, okay, I'm good. We're going, going to get the, the, the boomerang. <laughs> it's so dark, I can barely see you. Ooh. Too dark? Too dark, but. Too dark to do it? Too, too dark to do the thing? It's never too dark to do it. <laughs> <laughs> so we're having a little potluck dinner. We had salad to start, and then Alex made this pasta that we're gonna have. And then we've got an avocado mousse dessert. Yes, avocado chocolate mousse. I think we're excited. Mm. I wanna see if, it, yeah, I can't even see any of it. What do you think, Sarah? Got a new dog. This is Joey. Joey and Paco are super good friends. They love each other. Literally. Yes, they do. Oh. So Joey's parents are gonna take us for a trail run. Well, maybe not. Maybe we're just gonna go on an intense hike. We're gonna go somewhere beautiful and we're gonna do something active. So let's get into it. Yeah. All right, out. Alex, you're gonna chill in here. Oh my God. I am like freaking out. All right, so Alex is gonna stay here and paint her beautiful mural, and we are gonna go yeah, for a trail like, run, a dog portrait, which but... is not something that we do very often, <laughs> slash ever. Yeah, wish us luck, guys. <laughs> so today, Forrest is inspiring us to do a little yog. What's up? <laughs> fancy running shoes. I got my shoes. fancy shoes here. Oh, oh shoes. yeah. Hold on, let's try it. <laughs> what, a, what a weirdo. I've been wearing these for 10 years and people make fun of me so much that I can't stop wearing them. I'm like fully committed. Because awesome. if I ever stop wearing them, they'll be like, see, I told you they were your dorky shoes. You. <laughs> but I'll tell you what, you said it makes your feet, your feet are super strong yeah. coming, right? Yep. Yeah, like you said, don't knock until you try it. When you try something, you got to try it for a little while. You can't just like put them on one day and be like, I'm done. Because it doesn't work like that. Yeah. Well, I think the proof of these shoes is going to be when He's still yogging and we've died at the yeah, side of the road. You don't want to roll an ankle, right? I was actually thinking, I'm like, good thing we just updated our health insurance in case I roll my ankle. <laughs> All right, guys, we made it to the turning point. How you feeling? Awesome. Yeah. How are feet treating you? Feet are going good. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good. My lungs are opening up. I can feel it. I'm so curious. Like, I'm going to paint them off. Good job, buddy. Good job. How are you, you ready? How are you feeling? Good. My asthma kicks in when we do stuff like this. Like, I feel like on the inhale, like a little wheeze. Yeah. Do you think it's because you just... And I feel like that slows me down. Do you think it's just because you don't do it often enough? Probably, but also, you know, like lifelong asthma. Yeah. <laughs> a, little, a little bit of both, but strengthening your lungs can't hurt. That was Alex and I's first run in a very long time. How do you feel? I feel bloated and tired. Yeah, I feel a little tired. My knees definitely took a little bit of a hammering, but I need to strengthen everything, so it's very important to do these runs. Time for some yoga. That's more my feet. Yes, ma'am. Paco, you gonna do some yoga too? Perfect, down dog. Uh -huh. Good job, buddy. I gotta say thanks to Organic Basics for this outfit today. They, all their stuff is organic cotton and it's super comfortable and lightweight and easy to work out in, even though I barely managed that run. You did great. <laughs> we never run, so I she know, did great. I, was, I should've probably ran like 10 minutes and then turned around, you know what I mean? Like, 
like 40 minute run is like that's that's a long way for people that don't regularly run. You yeah. Know? yeah, especially when it's like hilly too on top. Yeah, we're like 70, feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we did good. But if you want a code for the organic basic outfit, it's down in the links below. So while we were running, Alex was doing this beautiful piece of artwork. That's what I have so far. Oh, so cool. I love the trees. You like it? Yeah. Yeah, I'll get back. Oh, thank you. This week was all fun and games, but next week things get serious. We started our journeys in this van. So we've decided that we are going to sell Lolo. That's right, guys. Our beloved Lolo is up for sale. If you want all the details, be sure to subscribe because next week, oh, it's going to be a whirlwind. We'll see you there.